is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright, that sounds good to me. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Morrowind. It's been a few days since I last played, and I'm well aware that the last session that I had was kind of a train wreck. I had no idea what the hell I was doing. At this point, I still have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Don't even start with that. Seriously, earlier today, you know, I had a good a good time in Mass Effect 2, we got a lot done. Contributions were decent, and you get the idiots who come in here and try to troll. Oh, your contributions are so low today. Like, dude, shut up. And first of all, no, they aren't. And second of all, no one wants to fucking oh, hear that all day, so shut the I'm fuck up. Choice. Don't want to hear it. If I hear it tonight, if I hear people talking like that shit, I'm just going to fucking ban. I'm just gonna, I'm not going to ask. I'm not going to be nice. I'm just going to ban your ass. Fuck you. Where's the vest? No vest tonight. If you guys want, I told you, if you guys want to do silly stuff, like if I hit a, a tips goal, I'll put on the vest or whatever, I'd be okay with doing that. I think that's silly, and it's no harm done, and it makes the vest feel special, like it's a celebration for doing something. Or if I'm in the middle of a marathon or something, I'll wear the vest. But I'm not just going to put on the vest for no reason. Spend all your money on me. Johnny Walker, Timmy Dollar, saying, any update on a five-year plan? How can I give you an update on any kind of a plan when I'm in the midst of a bankruptcy proceeding that I don't know what's going to happen with it? That'd be pretty dumb for me to assume anything, wouldn't it? So, yeah, I'm not really, uh able to do anything with a plan right now, okay? Let's relax. Let's, let's stop worrying about the five-year plan. Let's worry about the next five minutes what the fuck I'm supposed to do in this game. Well, at this point, I'd like to say thanks to everyone who's contributed so far tonight. We had a Maniac Cop with a 100-bit cheer. Miranda with a $5 tip. Contributions have been incredibly slow tonight. If anyone would like to contribute and help out, please tip me if you can. I appreciate that if you do. It's not required, but I do... You know, appreciate it. it was actually a slow stream earlier today as well so uh any contributions oh boy i appreciate it thank you guys what the fuck oh shit no no that's the end dude that's the way out that's not it no no i can't go back in no this is terrible come on why did you tell me to go back out to this asshole why would you tell me to do that, man? Now I'm stuck out here. I'm gonna have to do the whole fucking thing. I'm the lol cow. Why would you tell me to do this? I don't even know where I am. So it's not where I was. Take the rock formation that takes you to the second level above the three doors, but below the exit back to the overworld from the first room. What? What the fuck? I fell. See, you know, you guys said to me, you said to me, I couldn't do it. You guys collectively tonight, you all said I couldn't do it. You said you cannot get that, 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 that cube. You gotta leave and come back. I said, I can do it. I said, I know I can do it. And I did it. Because I can do it. If I put my mind to it, I can do it. And I did. So now, I would love, I will take all of your apologies publicly right now. For everyone who said I couldn't do it. Everyone who was a doubter and a hater tonight. Everyone now, collectively, kiss my butt. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Disgusting beggar. Popsicola says you need to learn how to make potions and enchant items to start using healing spells to speed up your leveling. Okay, but what about right now? <laughs> I understand, Popsicola, you're trying to help me long term, but like, can I figure out, can we gotta go, the problem is, and I'll be very honest with everyone, we have to go step by step. You can't say, okay, you need to go do this, level this, do this, do this, do this. Okay, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. The best way I'm gonna learn this game is baby steps. If you watch my Minecraft streams, you see that's how Papa Vera basically taught me stuff in the game, was baby steps. So, do this, then do this, then do this, and then I'll, I'll okay, learn that piece, on to the next. But if you give me a laundry list of stuff, it's like, whoop, right over my head, I'm not gonna know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> uh, speed endurance and agility, says Popsicolo. He thinks I should do speed endurance and agility. Can't ban my socks, I seriously don't think you understand the purpose of interactive streaming. He says, why don't I do research before a stream to find out what to do? If, then what's the point of the interactive stream exactly? The whole point of me playing this game, people knew I've never played an old Elder Scrolls game before. It was supposed to be interactivity between me and the viewers to figure out how to play the game, and that would be fun, learning the game on the fly. If I looked the whole game up for myself before, what's the point? Why even play? 
All I have to say is neener, neener, neener to everyone on stream who's saying I couldn't do that quest. I know I can do it. Haven't you seen me play Halo? I don't. I never even kill anything in Halo. I literally just run through the entire game and dodge every enemy from the start to finish. Unless there's a boss I have to fight to invite us to another room, I just ignore every enemy and I just I I completely beat the game. <laughs> I don't need to fight anything. I'll get past it. I'll find a way. I can juke and jive. Fill the lol cow. So that's the rough schedule you guys can expect. Keep in mind, it can change on the fly depending on stuff. You may have noticed that Call of Duty Warzone is not in there. I explained yesterday why not. I'll explain again for those of you who weren't here yesterday. Um, because there's no solo mode. And when I play Battle Royale games, the reason that people like those streams is because, uh, yeah, there's some tenseness and suspense to the gameplay of trying to survive. But when you play solo mode, I can interact with you guys constantly. I can concentrate on kind of talking with you and hanging out and having a good time. Versus... If I'm playing in a squad mode, well, you got to be paying attention. you got to communicate with your squad constantly in order to make it work, whether it's voice communications or pinging or whatever. You know what I mean? It's a very different experience, and it doesn't allow me to really interact with you guys that well during those streams. I know because a year ago I played Apex Legends with a squad, and even though we did well and we won a lot, people complained that the interactivity was not there and that they wished that there was more, and that's why I stopped playing the game eventually. Okay? So, um, that's why we're not doing it for now. If and when... Warzone launches solo mode, I'll play it. I'm, I'm interested in it. I want to play it. But, you know, there's no solo mode. And people are like, well, what about if you just play by yourself, if you close your party off? Uh, that would be really stupid. So I'm going to play solo by myself when everyone else is in teams of three. Whenever I engage in a firefight, I have to fight three people at once. That would be insanely stupid. So, no, I'm not doing that. That's a really dumb suggestion. <laughs> I'm not wasting my time with it. Like I said, I'm sure eventually they'll launch a solo mode. And when they do, that's when I'm going to be interested in checking the game out. Okay? Fair enough, guys? Oh, the stream's all about me. It's all about me. I'm a joke. You know, I don't do anything productive. I'm a negative, toxic guy. And everything about me is just laugh jokes, right? Snoutfoot cheered. He says, are you going to follow the NBA's lead and suspend all streams indefinitely until the coronavirus is, is gone? First of all, I don't think the coronavirus is ever going to be gone. The coronavirus is going to be a constant in our lives, just like the flu and just like all these other, you know, illnesses. Um... There's nothing you can do about it. That's what happens with these outbreaks of a virus, is that, you know, it goes worldwide, you know, it affects everyone, and then we eventually build up immunity to it. Every year now, you can get a flu vaccine to make sure that you don't get caught by the latest strand of flu, and I get the feeling the coronavirus is going to end up being exactly the same thing in the long term, okay? But that being said, <clears throat> no, obviously, the, you know, at a time when most major in-person gatherings are being canceled, right? Concerts, festivals parades, sporting events. I mean, almost every major sporting event has been suspended at this point. Um, you know, conventions, uh, everything. Everything is being canceled, suspended, because they're trying to curtail the spread of this virus, right? Um, it's actually going to be online-based activities, <clears throat> such as live streams, that are going to actually become more prominent during this time period. Because if you're stuck at home quarantined, you need something to do, right? And yeah, obviously, there's going to be a time when I say things like video games, are going to be huge. Uh, these are digital only, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> so, that being said, um, am I going to increase my streaming frequency? No, I can't. I mean, I already stream as much as I possibly can, you know, with the time that I've got. Um, so, I will still be here six days a week full-time streaming for all of you. Please understand that. Um, and hey, anyone who wants to come by and hang out with me, because you can't really do anything else, by all means, come have a good time. Give me those clicks, give me those views, give me money, money, money. All right, but... No, I mean, it's not going to negatively affect my streaming, at least, I hope, uh, in any way. Because, if anything, there's a lot of people who now have opportunity to check out digital-style content who normally would not be able to, okay? <laughs> Fair enough. <clears throat> listen, to, listen to this guy's name. Suppressed Puberty Boy. Well, I'm just going to say his name is SPB. Because <laughs> I don't want to type that whole name out. I'm lazy. He took me $2. And he says... With the coronavirus canceling sporting events and closing restaurants and bars, are you are you excited for an increase in revenue for viewers staying home and watching your streams? Yes! Yes! No, I'm not. Uh, there's absolutely nothing good coming out of the coronavirus, okay? Nothing. Zero. Uh, this virus is killing people around the world. And to say that a virus is getting you excited because more people will check out online content is ridiculous, irresponsible, selfish. Like, I could name a million negative ways that you would be to say something like that, okay? Um... It's not good for anyone. 
But undoubtedly, you know, digital content, on-demand, over-the-internet-style content is going to see some kind of an upturn during this period, I feel. Um, that's just an inadvertent effect of people really quarantining and not being able to go out and do stuff. Um, so, you know, no, I'm not excited. That's ludicrous. I think this, I, I, honestly, I think that this uh, tip is a try to be a trap. Like, oh yeah, if I was going to say he's excited, then we can all say that he, how insensitive and stupid he is because people are dying from the coronavirus. I would never say that because I'm not a complete idiot. I'm good at lying. <laughs> okay, you can go trap someone else into saying stupid shit like that. I'm not saying that. All right, but no, I'm not excited. The truth of the matter is, as I told you guys, when I stream, I don't care how many people I have on my stream anyway. I don't care if I have five viewers or 5,000 viewers. It doesn't matter to me. I put out the same stream. I haven't looked at view count in a ridiculously long time. I don't have anything open in front of me to even track viewers on a stream. I never pay attention to that. It's you guys who tell, oh, did you get raided? You got raided or, oh, did you see there's an increase of view count? No, I'm not paying attention. I don't, I don't pay attention to that crap. I just put out fun stuff, to, you know, no matter what, so. Chronic liar. Uh, PW dubs to me $1.30 says, I'm not saying that we won't reach it. Would you consider doing the top two games on the viewer's choice poll if we don't hit tier two? No. That's the point of having a tier two goal. Why have a tier two sub goal if you're going to do the goal anyway, even if you don't hit it? No. We're not doing the top two games of viewer's choice if I don't hit the sub goal. We're only doing both games if I do hit the sub goal. You know, that makes, that gives motivation for people to sub. Okay? That's how it works. Egg Gangster chewed 50 bits and says, well, you should incentivize the vest and hat again. You can make a menu of rewards for certain tips. Listen, I said this before, I'll say it again. Me putting on the vest or me putting on, uh, you know, a hat or whatever, being silly on stream, the reason that it's special is because I don't do it all the time. If I did it every stream, it wouldn't be special anymore. What would be the point, right? So no, I'm not going to put on the vest every stream. No, I'm not going to put on a cowboy hat every stream. We're not incentivizing those things all the time. It was something silly. The other night, someone joked and said, when I put on the vest for a certain tip, and I said, if we hit the tips goal tonight, I'll put on the vest. And then we hit the tips goal. So I put on the vest, just to be silly. But it's not going to be something that happens every day. <clears throat> okay? Egg Gangster Chudy said, can you tell my stoner friends to not share bongs during the outbreak? In reality, it's probably a bad idea to share share spliffs and bongs uh, when there's not an outbreak. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, but anyway, thank you for the cheers. Twelve dollars a tip so far today. Thank you guys. Um, legs a lot. Did a hundred bit cheer? He said, "No, no, Papa Vera. No, no, Papa Vera." Reference to me screaming during a uh, <laughs> a Minecraft stream a few weeks back. Papa Vera comes out with this giant King Kong strap on. All right, baby, you approved it. Let's do it. <laughs> uh oh. Wait, I meant for you. No, no. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. Papa Vera. Oh, fucking shit. No, no. Papa Vera. Ow. No, no. Papa Vera. Ow. Papa Vera, no, no. Oh, man. Oh, it's delicious. I love that. Pain is pleasure. <laughs> okay, Crab Cock did 105 bitch here. And says, would you advise against eating out right now or during the outbreak? I don't fucking know. I don't know, Crabcock. Am I an ex expert? <laughs> you know, am I an expert? No. You know, the thing is, like I said, my wife, she just still has to go out and work and interact with people on a daily basis. So if we're going to get it, we're just going to get it. You know what I mean? Like, we already have daily interaction with people outside the home. Um, so it, it's not, it doesn't matter what happens here. You know, we're going to get it if we get it anyway. So for us, it's like, well, we're not going to go out to eat, you know, because we're afraid of the coronavirus. By the way, we, you know, daily we have interaction with people anyway. So what's the point, <clears throat> right? If you're someone who can isolate yourself at home, and, you know, that's different, I guess. But, you know, but I, you know, it's all to your own individual situation. It's to your own individual, you know, goings. So, you know, you can't have a generalized, yeah, in general, if you sit in the corner of your basement, you probably won't get coronavirus, right? In general, if you just sit at home and you never move, you probably won't get sick. I mean, you know what I mean? This is all common sense, but I guess people want to hear it from someone's mouth for some silly reason. I don't know why. Um, but there you have it, okay? <laughs> there you have it, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so now I gotta, you seriously, I gotta mash through this whole fucking thing over and over and over and over to get to the final boss fight. So we gotta waste like three to five minutes, look. <laughs> Waste, waste time, waste time, waste fucking time because you can't skip the fucking cutscene because the game is outdated as well. Gotta watch this again. <laughs> and look, we have to watch this every time. 
This is gonna be three to five minutes of wasted time every time I fight the fucking boss, dude. Are they out of their minds? Cool. Ah, no one fucking cares. <laughs> oh. I know someone says, uh, this, the original game had no checkpoints. Dude, the game would be w I'll play, unplayable for me. With no checkpoints? The game would be unplayable. <clears throat> Look at all this time I'm wasting. This is literally five minutes every fucking time I fight the boss now. Are you out of your mind? I'm dead now. This sucks ass. It really does. This is terrible. I don't know if I want to finish this. I'm serious. Do you want? Do you really want to see me rewatch a five minute cutscene a hundred times to make the final boss of this game? Because they made it so poorly? <clears throat> it's absolutely pathetic. That in this version, they didn't make your ability to skip it. If you're making a remastered collection, actually remaster the fucking game. Don't just add two borders and act like you remastered it. Make it so you just skip the cutscene, you dumb fucks. <laughs> what? Okay, it didn't even happen. Dude, there's no way to dodge that. Are you serious? You can't dodge it at all! You can't- it follows you! <laughs> oh my god, I give up, this game sucks. This is so bad compared to the first one. It really is, it's pathetically bad. Pathetically bad game compared to the first one. This is so dumb. This is gonna be literally an hour waiting for the cutscene to end and like five minutes of gameplay until I beat him. Okay. <coughs> I can't be, I'm supposed to become invincible. I'm supposed to obtain the power that I nearly brought the world to destruction. <coughs> it was not enough, Dark Elf, give me more strength. Great. I don't know what to do. I can't hit him. I can't hit him. There's nothing to hit. What the fuck? I take damage when I, when I hit him. This is dumb. Oh my god, this is fucking pathetically bad. What a terrible ending to the fucking game. They ruined it. <laughs> the fucking game sucks. Oh my god. <clears throat> that ending is garbage. Salt. That's all you taste is salt. I jumped so I got hit. What? It followed me. Come on, man. This is bullshit. I already beat this one a million times on fucking game cheats. Come on. I don't want to do this anymore. This fucking ending is awful. Really awful. The true adult is in this easy mode. There is no easy mode, but this adds checkpoints, but the fucking checkpoint has you have to watch the whole cutscene again. <laughs> the game sucks no matter what. Quit dodging. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> now I have no health. I'm not gonna fight the final boss with no health. Fucking game sucks. It really does. This game sucks ass. Instantly when the fight starts, I die. Instant death. Fuck this game. Over 1,800 milligrams of sodium. <laughs> Man, the game sucks. It really is. It sucks. It's not anywhere, anywhere near as good as, as, like, the X games or, the Me or Mega Man Zero One. They fucked it up. Well, every stage is designed super annoying to piss you off and give you no enjoyment whatsoever. Everything has an annoying instant death gimmick to it. And the final boss is an annoying gauntlet. This fucking game sucks, man. Am I scared of the virus? No. I'm not scared of the virus at all. I'm scared of the repercussions of the virus. Having a fucking global scare for a year and no one can buy anything in a fucking store because of it. That's what I'm worried about. Come on! Fuck this game! I don't want to do it no more. The game sucks. Still gets me. Unreal. I'm jumping up the wall. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it tracks you and gets you anyway. No, the game sucks. Fuck it! Oh my god! Oh my god. Yes. The platform. The fucking platform. I can't hit him now. I can't hit him! I couldn't hit him at all. Completely different experience from, from every other time I fought him before this. Miss, 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 miss. What the fuck? Oh my god. What's hilarious is people like, oh, that's easy. This is easier than the Mega Man 1 boss. No, it's hard. Mega Man 0 1 boss. No, it's not. Not at all. It's worse. So far, it's been about an hour on this boss. No lie. That's because, like I said, we wasted about 30 plus minutes watching this cutscene over and over. Uh, oh. Ah! 
But like I said, this is my passion. I love gaming. I absolutely have gamed my whole life. I've loved sharing my gameplay experiences with you for the past 11 years, and I'll continue to do so even if I couldn't make a dollar doing it. Because I, as you guys know, I love what I do for a living. I don't want to ever have to change what I do for a living. How much longer do I think I'll be on the internet till I die? In one way or another, I'll probably be working till I'm dead. And I've, I've kind of accepted that, that, that reality. I'm not like a normal person who's working a career, who's building up retirement fund money, and one day I could sit back in a lawn chair sipping a Mai Tai and live out my golden years in peace. It's never going to happen. Um, you know, my life sadly has taken a turn where, uh, I, I don't even know if I'd be able to get a job in what's considered the private sector. And so more than likely, I'm just going to have to keep doing what I'm doing for as long as I can do it and make ends meet and go from there, you know? And, you know, yeah, if I'm 50, 60 years old and I still have to play video games for a living, <laughs> maybe I could, maybe the formula will change. It is what it is. That's my, that's my reality, you know? Oh my god, this is so much worse than the Zero One. It's so much worse. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, fuck this game. What a pain in the ass. Bill has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory, but I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. 